Scientists have managed to cure a 25-year-old woman with the diabetes. With pioneering cell therapy Chinese parents have managed to cure a woman of type 1 diabetes. 25-year-old start producing her own insulin less than 3 months after transplantation of reprogrammed stem cells and after a year still it produces. 25-year-old from China is the first person to be beaten to type 1 diabetes, scientists report. The woman underwent innovative therapy, in which her own cells were used. After their downloading, the scholars restored them to the pluripotent state, they programmed them to transform into the pancrusta islets, then injected it back to the woman. The results and description of the research appeared in the journal Cell. Diabetes is an elevated disease glucose levels in the blood. This is due to the defect of the works of the island beta cells pancreatics that produce lowering blood sugar insulin. In the type 1 diabetes is destroyed by the immune system. In the the ability to produce insulin is depleted. In type 2 diabetes the sensitivity of the tissues to insulin is reduced. By this, the body demands increased insulin production, which exceeds the capabilities of beta cells. In the the beta cell result does not work properly and the level of insulin in the body it is decreasing, although it is still produced. Diabetes affects nearly half a billion people in the world. The most common form is type 2 diabetes. This research is one of several pioneering attempts from use of stem cells to treat diabetes. Scientists have replaced it with them, after previously programming, pancre islands lost as a result abnormal immune response, which led to type diabetes 1. They, the pancreas islands, also called longer Hans islands, are tiny structures consisting of alpha and beta cells that produce insulin and glucagon. They're in the pancreatic pulp. They secrete the hormones regulating carbohydrate metabolism, and an adult can have up to 2 million such cells. People with diabetes have destroyed pancreatic islands, so they constantly have to use insulin in injection. Transplantation of pancreas islets can cure the disease, but there is not enough donors to meet the growing demand. To the this recipient must use immunosuppressive drugs after such a transplant in order to prevent the donor tissue from being discarded by the body. That's why Chinese researchers they used stem cells that can be used for breeding any tissues in the body and can be grown in the laboratory indefinitely, what means they potentially offer unlimited source of tissue it's a pancreat. Using tissue made from a person's cells, scientists have hoped to avoid the need for immunosuppressive drugs, which is necessary for transplants. In new work, Chinese scientists took cells from three patients with type 1 diabetes. Then they returned to the state it's a pluripotent. Pluripotent stem cells are essentially empty, undifferentiated cells, capable of growing into other types of cells, which exist in the whole body. Exploiting this potential in the context of diabetes means researchers can develop ways to modify cells parents to become insulin producing cells that are missing diabetics, helping them control high blood sugar and keep them health. health. In the next step, scientists program pluripotent stem cells so that they grow into pancreat islands. Safety of the cells tested in mice and primates. The treatment of patients was spread in time, so that the findings made on the example of the first patient can it was applied to the second and then the third. In a procedure of about 30 minutes, the researchers injected 1.5 million labed pancre islets into the abdominal cavity the first patient, a 25-year-old woman. Place them in the abdomen they made it possible to monitor them easily and possibly remove them if necessary. Two of the and a half months later, tests 
showed that the patient produces enough a lot of your own insulin to stop taking injections. What's more, after she continued to produce her own insulin here, the team of researchers noted that the patient is taking medication immunosuppressive due to previous liver transplantation. Since the administration breast hair lays raised in the lab, the woman has stopped experiencing dangerous spills and drops in glucose levels in the blood. Now I can eat sugar. I like to eat all, especially hot stew, admitted a woman who did not give your data to maintain privacy. The results obtained by Chinese researchers are groundbreaking, but they need to be repeated in more patients. The other two people they have participated in the research, they have equally fantastic results, the team says. In the November will be one year after they are given reprogrammed stem cells. Scientists want to expand the research by another 10 to 20 people. 16 AAA.